Welcome back to Banished. We're playing Mega Mod 9 and it's winter and our people are cold. I've got an underlying problem with fuel and I need to solve this. Now we've just set up new areas. We've got a new market here, which we only want one in. And we can add one person to the marketeers, good. Maybe two? No. One was enough. Okay, let's close that down. We've got crop fields coming and we've got tidal pools coming, but we've still got this underlying problem. Our firewood is low. Something is absolutely burning through our firewood. Let's have a look at our industrial area. What have we got here? Iron, oh my word, 80, that's a goodly amount. Stone, okay. Uh, copper, iron ore, tin ore, silver ore, salt. Yeah, I'm not sure. What is burning through our firewood? I am sure that I will stumble upon it in no uncertain terms. I wonder if we've got masses of furnace fuel somewhere. It, when you have a, a weird problem, well, it's not a weird problem, we often get problems with um, people being cold in winter. Yeah, they're cold already, look. Huh. Two out of that. We need far bundle out of reeds, not corn. Hang on. Yeah, that one's reeds. That one was corn. That's reeds. Okay, we must have not put that one incorrectly. Well, that will help to start with. Having far bundlers who are actually using reeds, not corn. Um, particularly since reeds is quite close to us. Hmm. Let's see if we can solve this mystery. What are they using here? Reeds? Good. Come on. Reeds. Yeah, we've got it set up correctly there. Okay. Ah! We've got 331 labourers. Good grief. Let's put two in each of these. And this one, we'll put two in here. How have we got so many laborers? Yeah, our children are dropping again. Tidal pool, we'll put two in there. Okay. We must have had a huge amount of people come through. I'm playing straight after the last a game I've not sort of played in between so I'm quite mystified as to where all these people have come from right okay what have we got here we've got have we got enough foresters here we've got four out of four I just want to check all our foresters that we've got enough Foresters, 37 of 37 we have. We've got a woodcutter. We've got two woodcutters here. That's fine. We have a log stockpile here, which is just not getting logs. We've got trees growing. We have cleared this area of extraneous stone or almost all stone, but close enough. And in here... Bricks, furnace, fuel. Okay, let's have a look at our overall things. Now, this is sorted by name. Let's have a look at f how much furnace fuel have we got. Is this what's burning up? We've got fancy homewares. Oh, 26,000 fertilizer. Far bundles are coming up. How many reeds have we got? Let's have a look at reeds. Herbs. Uh, reeds, come on, 
begins with an R. PQR reads. We've only got 30 reads. Aha! We are short of reads. Okay. Now this sounds like we need read beds. Okay, and here we've got reads. Yeah, they're out of reads, aren't they? We've now got an imbalance of fire bundling sheds to reads. That's where our issue is. Um, I'm not, I can't trace down the firewood. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into life on the water. In fact, we might get it under raw material production. No, let's go into uh, life in the water. Is that right? This dark area. Here we go. And these are reed farms. Wonderful. Now, which way round do they go? That way round. Let's get some reed farms right in here where the bundlers are. There we go. This is going to work well. I'm not sure what we store reeds in, but having a, a reed bundling area here looks great to me. So we've got all these reed farms to come. There we go. And of course they need logs. And we're short of logs. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, but we've got so many labourers that we can grab logs easily. So let's do just that. Let's come out a bit. Yeah. Here. Right. There's a nice area here. Let us come into the harvest. And we're going to harvest trees. There. 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 And there. Let's just take a few elements of harvest there. Now, I wonder whether we store, what, what do we store reeds in? Interesting, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I think we store them in... Do we store them in markets and warehouses? Let's have a look. Well, we were low on reeds, so it's hard to tell, really. Um, can't see them in there. Reed farm. Excellent. How many people can I get in a reed farm? One. Right. Let's get one person in. First reed farm is up. Nice. And I think we'll put a house here. Why not? Homes and houses. There's another one. got so many labourers. Now we could put a white house or we could put, let's go to Aginor and let's have a look at his houses and see what houses he's got that would be fun. Cape Dutch boarding houses, they've got these row houses, oh my word. If I put one of those, that's a row house. Wow. And then another row house there. Yeah, these guys can live right next to the the reed beds. I'm I'm loving this idea. Right, we've got a reed farm here. Another one. There we go. This one needs somebody. 
Wow. And this one needs somebody. Number of citizens, yeah. That's it. We've got all these staffed and we've got houses being produced here. So we will put another house here now. I would really like another tent with fire. Or, no, that's wrong. What about one of these oddities? You know, would that fit that area? No, it won't. It really won't. <laughs> Let's not even try that. What have you got? Log houses, farmhouses. No, those are big. No, we don't want those. DS, what have you got? Tents. Celtic homes, that's going to be too big. And I these tents, leather tent. Five logs, three leather and eight work. Oh, wow. Does that ever look good there? That does look good. It matches the whole of the rest of the uh, the look here. I really like that. Okay, would we fit one there? I think it's too big. Yeah, it's too big. Okay. Well, we've got a, a nice warm leather tent and a couple of row houses to put in. Perfect. Ah, and then, of course, while we've got the people, let's get the roads. And we're in a, a red brick area. Oh, pause to save. Here we go. Red brick area coming up. Nice. Will that go between there? It won't. Good. Yeah, we need a road in here, don't we? We can see that. We need a red brick road there. Will we go there? Yes. And that can link to that one. Perfect. Yep. And then these will link in with this okay it won't go there will it go it won't dang it right we'll get road in there to that one this one they're just going to have to walk across the bank and then obviously road comes there we're into a bank again aren't we right There we go. Wow, it's hard to fit these roads in. Tent with fire. Yes, you're cold. Now, where are they going to store? That's a blacksmith. Where are they going to store these reeds? Um, let's have a look at the, the ones I tend to go to a lot small storage and there are some very nice lean-tos we want general all right can we get these in we can but we want the barrels uh will that fit no okay but we will get some here, I hope. Yeah, let's put a couple here. There we go. And some there would be very good. Okay. Just trying to make it look nice. Good. All right, that's a lot of storage, but I think that will solve. Oh, wow. 
Those row houses, they look wonderful here. Look at that. So a vendor and a miner, that looks good. Okay, and this one is a blacksmith and a beekeeper, right? None of them are making reeds. Vendor and brewer, they are short. It's bizarre that they're short of houses here. We've got these lean-tos here. Let's get them over here. Then we know that they've got somewhere to store. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Now, what we could do is we've got a bridge here, which isn't that far away. In this area, this is... If we go to decorations, no. This one, themed sets, this one. Go to houses. Um, will we be able to get a house in here? Uh, no, we will not. I was hoping to house them in here. No, how extraordinary. That's right next to that house, but I would get it in. Let's do it. It'll make a good pair. Okay, the lean to, wow, not what I was expecting. Okay, got another house in there. Oh, and we could get a very nice house here. Let's go into CC and let's see if we could get a colonial house. I mean, that's a big homestead, but doesn't that match the church well? Let's set it back by one. It's not a church. Perfect, we'll get those two in. A few more houses in this area just to try and source our reed guys. Now, are you producing reeds? I'm sure they are, but let's check. Oh, yes. Wow, they're producing reeds. Okay, and they're storing them in the lean-tos. That's working well. We're happy about that. All right. Somebody died but has been replaced. So that means that they've got not a huge amount of storage, but they've got a little bit of storage. And also, have we got a general cart here? Stone cart, industrial fuel. Wow, we've got furnace fuel all the way down here. Fire bundles. Fire bundles go in fuel carts. We like that. We like that a lot. Okay. Um, here, storage. Do we get the carts in here that I want? Not those carts, no. Um, crates, barrels and boxes, warehouses, these carts. This is what I want, I think. And I want wood, stone, iron, edibles, fuel, yeah. Can I get one? I mean, that would be so good. Oh, I can't get it in there. I don't want it right next to the tent. All right, let's see what we can do. Is there anywhere we could park this cart? No, too many banks. But maybe, just maybe, there. Perfect. That will help. That will help a lot. So the lean to. Let's have a quick look at that. That's looking nice. That's looking nice. 
I love the tent. Vendor and Brewer. This lean to, yep, they're putting reeds in there. They like these little boxes. That's good to know. This lean to is this one. Honey, pumpkin, still to. They're enjoying the lean to's. And this lean to has nothing in it yet. It will have, I'm sure. Because there's reed beds here. Come on, guys. Colonial homestead. Who have we put in there? A labourer and a vendor. Just two people. Okay. Hmm. Houses are being built. Market carts are being built. Nice. It's a very bright, vibrant area, this, isn't it? I absolutely love it. And where are people working? We've got nomads coming. We do not need nomads. Right, let's have a look at tools and reports. So where are you working? Yeah, your reed beds. Yeah. Yeah. This is looking... Ooh, good. This is all looking absolutely fine. We need another house. Yeah. like to get a Cape Dutch house in here. We will do. So if we look for Aginor, Cape Dutch house, yeah, absolutely perfect. Yes. And would I get one in here? I would. All right, let's get these in. Let's keep going. Okay, of course, well, the more houses we have. Worker and a blacksmith, okay. Colonial homes with miner and builder. Fine, this crop field, where's that? Oh, good. Uh, what shall we grow? Blackberries, why not? Put another person in there. Good. Oh gosh, we've got 400 workers now. Oh my word. Fuel market cart, Cape Dutch. Cape Dutch. Let's uh, up the number of builders to 20. That'll just help. Okay. Logs is 101. Okay. I just want to check where these people are living. So where are the hunters living? That's not bad. Where are the gatherers living? That's not bad. We must have houses with lots of people in here we have. We've got an aging population in here. Okay. This barn, 22% full. Got reeds in there as well. Good heavens. There's reeds everywhere. Right. Now, how are we doing? It's actually looking pretty good. Would I get some road into there? Do I need road into there? I do not. I do not. Right. I wonder whether we would get... Let's have a look at the back of these houses. They look really nice, don't they? We could put little gardens in there. Let's have a look at this. Would we get a little garden in here? We will not. What's... We would get some mini crop fields. I don't know whether this is a good idea but I quite like the idea of having little gardens here. Okay. 
and we're going to grow things that are pretty to make it look nice. Now ginger is very pretty. These are highly inefficient, I know, but they are meant to be gardens. Uh, blackberries are pretty. Violets are very pretty. Right, this one. What else can we have? Violets. Mm, sunflowers, of course. Those are only little tiny, tiny places. Um, but I think they'll look nice. Right, we need a vendor in there. So hopefully, yeah, fire bundles, perfect. So we've got a monk and a farmer in here. Right, where does the monk must work close? That's fine, that's fine. Don't look too closely. And then the other Cape Dutch house is here. We've got a teacher and a forester there. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Look at all the beehives. And we've got a construction mark there. We ought to have an edibles cart somewhere here. Stone, there's not much there. Furnace fuel, wow. Fuel, I'm hoping they put reeds in there. Building supplies, construction. We must have an edibles cart somewhere. Raw materials, seedlings and sand. Edibles, yeah, edibles is what we need. We need another edibles cart. Let's go back in here. Um, we're in the market stalls, carts. Yeah, we want the edibles. Um, fuel market, industrial, minerals, raw materials. I miss the edibles. Fuel, edibles. Okay, can I get an edibles cart in here? I can. Shall I put it there? Yes. That's better. That's much better. This crop field. Right, we are going to grow field onions. Always good, a goodly crop. Edibles market can't. Right, 400 laborers. How are we doing on food? We need more food. I tell you, as soon as you think you've got enough food, you need more. And we've got a lot of animal pens over here somewhere. Are you set up for reeds? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that should make quite a lot of fire bundles. So we ought to be gaining on this. Uh, let's have a look in here. Are we finally managing to get a few more fire bundles? 186, yes. We're slightly gaining on it, slightly. <laughs> okay, we've got loads. We must have so much honey, which they can eat. I mean, it's a good thing to eat, but let's have a look under here. Yeah, there's a lot of food. Look at the apricots. Come on, guys, eat apricots. How much honey have we got? Yeah, we're, we're, we're making it on the far bundles now. Honey. 34,000 honey, wow. Goodness, that's a lot of honey. Yeah, these animal pens are doing well. And is this full? Wow, we are, yeah, we've got a lot, a lot of things. I like these little barns that have different things. Got 
domesticated animals, elden, elven bows. They're still cold over here. Oh, wow. I'm pretty upset that they're cold. Are you storing far bundles at all? Where are the far bundles being stored? Right, the edibles market cart will put a vendor in there and see what comes. Now, let's have a quick look. We're this lot is still cold. So, let's have a quick look at reeds versus far bundles. How are we doing on reeds? We've got hundreds. Yeah, there's not a lot. Are we short of reeds still? Reeds, where are they? Come on, reeds. I suspect we're still short of reeds. Okay. Um, let's come back to our life on the ocean waves and let's come back to our reed beds okay and let's put some in this side because we've got reed bundles over here Right, let's get that lot built. Yeah, and what is that? An oil press, nice. Okay, reed farms. Another four reed farms would not go amiss. We could get more along there, and I think I'm going to if I can get them in. Wow. Gosh, that's a lot of reed farms. Now, those will store far bundles, but what will store reeds? A general cart. We might get one in. Let's have a look. Uh, wood market cart, stone, iron, edibles, fuel, industrial fuel, minerals, construction, raw materials. Um, grain, protein, I want some reeds, what would reeds? Miscellaneous, now would I get this in? I'm not sure I will, I won't. Hmm. Oh, how nice. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's put that in. Why have I not found that before? I'm still finding gorgeous things here. Right. Now. What we do need down here is a well. I don't think we've, we may not have enough wells in this area. Let's just make sure we have before the whole place burns down. Well, village well, my favorite wells. Okay. That looks nice. Yep. Yeah. Got a well over there. You know, I don't need one here. Um, 
but it would be awfully good to have one right there. Yeah. And then I can't see one over here. So I'll put a, a well in the middle of the beehives. That's it. And then up here, we've got a well up here, not that I can see, but we'll put one right there. Wow, that's a lot of building. Okay, so we've got more reed farms. One, two, three, four, five more reed farms. Wow. Okay. I never thought I'd be short of reeds. Another one there. Wow. And then we've got market stands coming and a village well coming. Okay. What's the matter with you? Uh, we took you out because there's not enough firewood. Can you, can you make it out of something other than firewood? No, you have to have firewood. You are... Yeah. Okay. And we, I don't think we have. Let's have a look. How much firewood have we got? Firewood, 117. We do not have enough. Oh, whoops. Goodness me. I like this area. Now, we've still got a reed farm untenanted. Okay, we've now got huge numbers of people working here. And I doubt whether we've got roads and I found out that if you don't have a well next to a road they don't think it's a well right nice let's get this one going across here yep okay wow Hmm. Red brick road coming here. Can I get one up here? I can. Hmm. Do what you can. We can always put other things in. There we go. Lots of roads, lots of reeds. And we're going to need storage again. And we know that they are very keen on these little barrels. That is a edibles. That's not helping there. That will store the fire bundles, but what will store the reeds? Iron, I know, we know the barrels will store the reeds. Let's not, uh, market stalls, no. Small storage, lean twos, yeah. And we want the general, perfect. No. Yes. <laughs> Fiddly, but it works. Nope. <laughs> okay, a little bit of storage there. The market stand has been built. This is, let's have a good look at this. Oh my word. 
That's gorgeous. Let's look at that. Why have I never discovered this before? It's beautiful. Yep. How are we doing on storage? Oh, that's building. Right. Yep. Village wells. Yep, these are being built. That's fine. Okay. I think we need more road through there by the look of it. It takes up an awful lot of resources, but if we can get the... Perfect. Oh, I've got two wells next to each other. I am not going to worry about it. Lean to 45 reeds already. Good. Where are they going to live? It's thought, isn't it? Um, got very nice back gardens here. I am cramming people in now. I feel I have an empty space here. Can I get a tent in? I would doubt it. Um, no. I'm looking for the one. No, no, no. That had all those tents. No. It wasn't red ketchup. Nope. Ah. Wow. This is really townhouses. No, no, no. Those too big. Much too big. Necros. No. Nope. Right, let's not worry about that. We are cramming people in. Ah, ah. Now, which of these? They're multi-story third floor. Who does multi-story? Uh, Red Ketchup does multi-story. Yeah, and if we put this in in beautiful colours here, beautiful colours, red, right. Will we get this in? Um, I can't see the roof. First floor, right. Second floor. Yeah. And then third floor. Oh my word. Um it's a bit better. All right, that's three houses for this area. Wow. I'm pretty sure we've got all these bits that we need. And then up here, we've got, we need a second story, and yeah, that's white, that's nice, that fits, and then we need a third story, wow. Um, that one. Oh my gosh. Are we in death? We are. We're okay on food. Short on logs. 
stored firewood which is fueled as well as coming up we're okay on other things we're okay on clothes we're doing well wow i think we may have solved our problem with regard to firewood i'll see you in the next episode bye bye guys <laughs>